Greetings again, Chumbas. Hello this time. We're going to cover body blading. We're going to talk about that oh, the armored plastic and metal can be attached directly to your skin, can go over your linear frame, can use it a few different options, right? We're going to talk about that. All right, you can see also we've got the 48-minute uh, trailer from 2077 playing in the background today. Now, if you uh, like that better than just seeing me, like that you want to see more graphics or something else, let me know in a comment. Let me know what you think of this. So do that. But moving on, body plating is what we're here to talk about this time. Uh, body plating is basically armored plastics, metals, um, I would also, it doesn't say in the book, but I would also say ceramics potentially uh, sandwiched together. Actually, the quote from the book is sandwiching an ablative plastic shell with energy absorbing microcellular honeycomb. It's, it's the makeup of body plating. It can be uh, attached, anchored directly to your arms, to your body, to your skin. It has uh, microscopically porous so that your skin can still breathe even when you've got this stuff attached to you uh, once it's attached it goes it is there it's not something you take on and off it's not a jacket it's not a, a suit it's not a uh, a vest or something you take on and off it attaches to you now the other thing you can do though is you can attach this to the outside of a, a linear frame exoskeleton so that's the armor for the exoskeleton or you can just attach it straight to to your body either way um, now, it is not something that's going to make you stronger. Armor plating isn't going to make you faster. You want to get stronger, that's what the linear frame is. If you want to get faster, there's other cyborg for that. But armor plating is just that. It's armor, and it's in your face, and it's obvious. It's going to give you more of that robot rather than human type look. Um, it is not made to look like skin. It is not made to look like a regular person it is made to look like you got a bunch of pieces of metal bolted to you that's exactly what it is um so things that would destroy that would just obliterate a regular regular meat guy, person character is going to scratch and bounce off the heavy armor plating this stuff is sp25 that's that's pretty significant armor and it's a heavy well-made it's a very resilient type of plating it does have sensors for uh, mounts. It has, it even has mounts and uh, points on it to attach more body armor. Now you do something like that, of course it's gonna have an even further effect on reflexes on other things potentially. But, and then you get in the armor staging, armor stacking rules. Got a video on that, that's a whole other thing. Um, but it does have those mounts for sensors for other things. If you want to put a sonar type sensor mounted to the armor itself, uh, part of your exoskeleton linear frame or to the armor that's mounted to you, you can do something like that. Uh, armor plating comes in, body plating comes in sections. So you got a cowl, you got a, uh, a um, what do they call it here? A face plate. They got the face plate piece, the cowl piece, there is the torso piece. Okay. The torso piece will cover all of your upper and lower torso, back and front. It has expansion joints and, and movable pieces, so it's kind of stiff. But you can move, you can twist, you can move your arms, all that kind of stuff. The uh, cowl piece is over your head only. It kind of is like the skull cap type of thing that you might have seen in the old sci-fi movies with the skull cap, right? That kind of stuff. Um, that is anchored directly to your scalp. The skull cap is. The face plate is in, is covers your whole head. I would say even yes, your whole head here. Um, does have breath, uh, holes in it for breathing, for eating, for speaking, so you can see through it, that sort of thing. Um, it has, it is woven with some micro, what is the, what is the term, uh, mol, molymer muscle fibers. They're kind of flexible. So you can approximate some um, facial expressions through this. Now again, like the other body plate, this is grafted, this is attached directly to you. This isn't a mask you take on and off, right? So it becomes your face, right? Uh, again, it is porous though, so your skin can breathe. You don't have any issues with your skin, I'll be able to breathe. Um, now you can, with this face plate, get it, you can have it look like a robot. You could just have it real smooth and silverly, right? Silver, silverly, 
<laughs> Silver Eighth. Anyway, uh, you can get it sculpted to look like an animal, a demon, uh, some mythical monster from some other game that we're not going to talk about right now. You could get it to look like anything like that. Get that look to it. You could have, for example, the antennas, uh, the sensors, the extra sensors could be mounted, could look like antennas. They could look like horns or something like that from the creature, whatever you're trying to emulate, and have those sensors be in part of the horns. Just as an example, you could do all kinds of things like that. Now, pick your bo favorite robot for Futurama and model it after that, you know? Uh, you get a bender mask, right? A bender uh, faceplate. But anyway, SP25 for each of these pieces that we've talked about. Now, the couple things on that uh, torso plate, um, it does have expansion joints. It does, it's still very stiff. Uh, the torso plate's still going to give you a minus three to your reflexes when you have that attached. And, well, when you have that attached. Um, the other item you can get is a front optic mount is what is how it is termed it allows you to have it actually allows you to have up to five cyber eyes uh, you can have them kind of in a line here you can do a visor kind of a robocop style visor thing um, if you have the face plate you can have them mounted behind that and have the whole robocop thing going on if you wanted to you could do a single big optic here and then have several others in a row or have two and two or whatever kind of configuration you want that your ref deems appropriate or makes is it, it says is available makes available to you or that you had made for yourself uh, have a tech or somebody make it right in the game make it all part of role play um let me see you can also have um and you can google this if you want to see pictures of it because i'm not taking down the the uh, preview here the trailer to show you this but the old style movie cameras and, and even some of the old style video or not before video movie cameras professional and uh, amateur movie cameras they actually had a dial on the front with three or four different lenses and when you want to change what focal length what type of lens you're using you turn this thing so that the appropriate lens was here you can get something like that with your cyber eyes on it um i would say you could get something if you wanted it for for uh, role play for whatever that you did have to literally rotate to use the different eye for something or you could have one that just looks like that and all of them are functional right it's it's all dependent on how you and your ref work that out um now the the big biggest drawback to the front optic mount and this kind of, i find this a little bit little bit interesting but here's what the book says the book says when you have this front optic mount your tractedness goes, do not pass go, straight down to negative one. Your tractedness becomes a negative one when you have the front optic mount. Now, I'm not sure if that was a typo. Uh, I hadn't heard anything about that in previous times, if that's supposed to be something other than it's supposed to just be a negative one. Negative one, your attractiveness doesn't seem like enough, but to make your attractiveness stat ain't become a negative one from whatever it was, seems like it might be a little extreme on the other side so anyway book says if you have the front optic mount your attractiveness goes to negative one period that's it no discussion so up to you how you take that discuss it with your ref to figure out how that would work um i did mention before the sensory extensions are called sensory booms or just booms uh can look frequently are going to look like antenna coming off the the, the plating the whichever parts you have or the exoskeleton if you have the linear frame that stuff it could look um like i mentioned depending on if you're sculpting it to look like an animal or something you can make it look like ears or something that's part of the animal uh these can be a foot or two foot or more long they can have a camera a microphone stuff sensors at the end of them so that if you're trying to like for example get around the corner if you're trying to find out what's going on or if there's a bad guy coming there's somebody about to shoot you from around the corner you can kind of do that or well, i would even say if it was if i was doing it make it detachable right with a cable or something maybe extended cable and you can look around the corner hold it out there there we go hold it out there look around the corner slip it back in let you see what the hell's going on around that corner before you actually step around the corner um and uh oh the book does say that these things are you those sensors are usually attached to the upper spine uh, or to the head. Okay, so there's that. There's actually a book, uh, picture with, I don't remember if it's the med tech without looking it up, 
but there's a picture of one of the uh, roles, I believe, of them in a an armored suit that, reading this, I'm going to say looks very much like it's some kind of body plating with the antennas and stuff. But there you go. Um, that covers that covers body plating, and I'm going to say it. That's almost at the end of the video, and I'm going to say it now. Uh, first of all, check out the other videos. Check out my other videos, okay? I appreciate you clicking on those. Continue to watch something else for me. But first 10 comments I get below on this video, I'm going to send you a coupon to get the ammo pack off the shop.punkgenerator.com. Shop.punkgenerator.com. Send you a coupon to get that for free. Just leave a comment down here, anything, and I'll get you that coupon for it. So there you go. Appreciate your watching. I'll see you in the next video.